So guys, welcome back to Nick Legend Blades uh, Wizard 101 Let's Play. Last episode, we finished the Smith Quest and defeated Foul Gaze. Also left a mark by uh, Lord Nightshade's Tower. But we're going to do a uh, certain quest that, if I remember, it gives me one of my favorite spells. So you are ready to learn your next spell. Very well. You will first need to collect a fire shard from a fire elf on Firecat Alley. After that, talk to Bernie. So I'm going to pause the video quickly and uh, get to Firecat. So see you all in a second. So guys, here we are fighting a fire elf hunter. And uh, I also looked over. The person battling uh, to our right over there has been battling since, uh, well, a long while. I've seen her before in this street in previous episodes. Well, recording and everything. <sighs> ah, darn it. And we have collected it. Now we have to go talk to Bernie and Ravenwood, so let's just teleport to my house. Oh, and the two voices you guys heard earlier while I was recording were two of my uh, renters. My uh, family's renters. Oh, right, I have to talk to Bernie, not Dahlia Thalmea. Uh, there. It takes a lot of concentration in order to cast Link. Oh, you okay. must prove you are worthy to earn this spell. Enter the fire tower and face your opponent. Afterwards, if you are successful, come talk to me. Okay, it's not the spell I thought it was, but it is still a good spell that we will be using in the near future. As you enter the room, you slam the fire shard onto the ground, which erupts in flames, forming a fire crow. Get rid of that, get rid of one of those. Major life either. Hmm. Sorry guys, I must now do my battle crack. Oh, they don't let it. No. They don't let my battle cry. Okay, we'll attack it and then I'll hit it with another mire. Ire. Good, you wanna fizzle? Cause I really didn't want to actually have to do it. I wanted to put one of these on. Actually, let's just heal so we can top up my health.
And one more time for good measure. And let's finally finish this. Fire gem the fire crow gave you. Now you will need to go to Festival Park on Cyclops Lane to learn your words of power from the fire minion. After you have learned the words of power, speak to Professor Falmea. So we're just gonna hightail it over to uh, Cyclops Lane. I do vaguely remember this quest from when I was uh, when I was a young Wizard 101 player. I have been playing this game on and off for the past four or five years. A friend of mine introduced me to it. His brother actually gave me the name Legend Blade. But, uh, nah. Nick Legend Blade is one of a kind, so. You might see other players with my name, but they. They don't have my story and my tale. I don't know why I'm saying this, I'm just bored and... Yeah, I'm... I don't know. That's my quest there was glitching. You hear a hissing noise deep within the earth. Greetings! Student of fire, I see that you have obtained a fire gem. You have shown your resourcefulness and dedication. For that, you have our favor. The power words you will require for your spell are Omnirio Hissia Paraxima. Well, we got the we got the spell words, I guess. So let's quickly uh, go and talk to Madame Falmea. I'm noticing one of my keys aren't working as well as it used to. Ah, you have the fire gem and the words of power. Super. I will now intone your spell. Falmea speaks the words of power in what sounds like an ancient tongue. Your efforts have paid off, student. Make sure to put this in your deck. You may need it soon. It's a really good spell because it, it heals me a bit, so... You can see why that's useful. So... I will teleport to the haunted cave and bid you all a fond farewell. So I hope you've all have enjoyed this episode, which is more of a filler because I got a new spell that is helpful. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content in the near future. Have a great day, and see you all next episode.